Hello everyone, it's Elle and welcome back to my channel. So I know I posted an entire redecorating video a couple of months ago, but I thought I would show you a much more detailed tour. I call it my art studio, but it's literally just half of my living room. But I honestly love this little corner. This is literally where I work, where I package orders every single week, where I spend hours sitting at my desk editing videos, where I create content for TikTok and Instagram, where I get my day started and put on makeup and lastly just my own space where i can chill relax and be myself i mean it's filled with so much 90s y2k nostalgia from my childhood and i just feel so inspired when i'm here but aside from aesthetic it's also very functional which has really helped with my productivity so without further ado here is a full tour of my at-home art studio <laughs> So I'm gonna start off with the biggest thing in my studio, my pink and green checkered rug, which I got off of Etsy. The shop is called Best Wool Rug. It was definitely an investment for my studio, but it's really, really soft. I also have a couple of pillows here since I like to lay here when I'm not at my desk. The mushroom one is from TJ Maxx and the pink heart one is from Valfrey. And beside that, I have this smaller anti-social social club rug. So the most asked question I get is where did I get my neon sign? And it was actually a gift from my partner, but he got it from customneon.com. So let's move on to my packaging desk where I package all of my orders for my Patreon and my shop. The desk itself is from FlexiSpot and it's a standing desk which is really convenient when I don't want to sit all day. I also have these little colorful crates that I got from Hay to organize all of my prints. I also love that these crates are stackable so underneath that I have another bin where I pretty much hide a bunch of extra inventory that I can easily grab when I need like pin backing cards, prints, vinyl stickers and membership cards. I also have some Polaroids in here from shoots I've done for past collections. Beside those crates, I have a few art books that I like to keep on my desk, like this Miyazaki one, which I got from Barnes & Noble, a couple of Sinrio art books that feature products all the way from the 70s to the 2010s, which is really, really cool. I love these ones so much. I also have this Sag Shrimp sticker book, and I like to keep a lot of the stickers I buy from fellow small artists in here. And to keep everything in place, I have this super cute cloud-shaped bookend which I got from the kids section at Target a while back. If it isn't obvious, I absolutely love Sailor Moon and I got this pretty cool figure at Barnes & Noble. Next, I have this little Chromie container that I got from Ranch 99. It's filled with wipes but honestly, they're all dried up right now. This Powerpuff Girls cookie jar is hands down my favorite thing that I own. I found it on eBay and it's just perfect. I haven't filled it with anything yet maybe I can fill it with washi tape or something but it is such a statement decor piece and the very last thing on my desk is this acrylic three-tier stand that I got from Daiso and I pretty much just use it to house my larger prints since I film a lot of packaging videos I also have this iPhone holder from Amazon clamped to the side of my standing desk which has been really helpful okay let's talk about my art gallery wall now this totally spies print is by Hanav Bara this Senrio print is by Tabatai this magic Magical Girl print is by Jacqueline DeLeon. This bear print is by Shelby DeGarmo. This piece is by my friend Ji Han Chu. This Ghibli print is by Lalase Idko, and this giant Sailor Moon print is also by Han of Bara. So right below my standing desk, I have two storage carts from Michaels. The teal one is basically just for all of my packaging material. The first row has packaging stickers and envelopes for sticker mail. I also have this little organizer, again from Daiso, filled with stamps. Beside that, I just have some clear bags which I use to package products. I also hung a few containers on the side of the cart. This one is for items that I use the most often, like rubber stamps, washi tape, and a box opener. This next container is just filled to the brim with washi tape. Do I have an obsession with washi tape? Maybe, but I do use them pretty often for Patreon mail. In the second row, I have bubble mailers and a bunch of flat cardboard mailers, which I get from Paper Mart. And in this hanging container, I like to throw in some pre-packaged products. And this one just has some tools like scissors and a pin backing remover and on the very very last row i have my cloud poly mailers 
for packaging clothing. Moving on to the second storage cart, this coral one is mainly for inventory and the first row has most of my enamel pins. I got these stackable acrylic organizers from Amazon and I use them for all of my Animal Crossing inspired pins since they're a bit larger than my other ones. These smaller acrylic organizers are also from Amazon and I use them for my pin backing cards and my smaller enamel pins. They're also stackable too and I just love how they look. In the second row of this cart, I have more enamel pins, but these bigger containers are from Daiso along with this acrylic heart-shaped container, which I used to organize all my extra pin backings in. And then next to that, I just have some membership cards for my Patreon. This last row is a bit random, but I just have some pins I designed for boba guys, my tape dispenser, lint rollers, honestly, I don't know what this is. And this container has my larger pin backing cards and notebooks. My work desk is where I spend a majority of my time on my laptop. First off, I got this computer chair from Ikea. It's pretty comfy. And I also like to keep this cat bus pillow here. I got it from Amazon, but it's supposed to be a seat cushion and it's way too hard for my butt. So it's just decor for now. On top of my desk, I have this handy little phone holder from Amazon and my phone case is by Tabatai on Casetify. I like to keep this beside me if I'm FaceTiming anyone while I work. And I have my Blue Yeti microphone, which I'm using now. Behind this, I have an acrylic pen holder from, you guessed it, Amazon. I like to keep my brushes here, my pens, pencils. Look at this cute Kiki's delivery service ruler. And then I have some scissors. So this is the laptop that I use. I have a 16 inch MacBook Pro and I like to keep it on this laptop stand from Amazon. And what I like about this one is how easily I can tuck away my keyboard and grab it when I need it. Speaking of my keyboard, this is a Hello Kitty one that I got for Christmas last year. The brand is Akko and it's so cute and I just love the sound of the keys. And to match with my keyboard, of course, I have a pink Bluetooth mouse on top of this cow print heart mouse pad. I love anything cow print and both of these are from Amazon. This huge smiley face on my desk is actually a placemat. I think it was from Home Goods. I like to keep it on my desk whenever I eat. I also have this mirror from Daiso that I use whenever I get ready in the morning. I always have a mug at my desk and this mushroom one is from world market now for the inside of my desk i actually installed these knobs into my ikea desk myself they're from 3d print craft shop on etsy in the side drawer i have most of my camera and laptop equipment in here i use this no face pouch to protect my camera whenever i go out and then i have a couple of notebooks like the sailor moon moleskin that to be honest i don't have the heart to use because it's just so pretty these are my red headphones which i obviously use every day because look how janky they look and these things are probably the most important thing in this drawer. They're my external hard drives and they have all of the videos that I've ever filmed. In the back, I have my Sailor Moon lanyard from Hot Topic, this Taco Bell sauce battery pack, and that's pretty much it. This biggest drawer is for all of my makeup. I try to keep it as clean and organized as possible with these dividers from TJ Maxx. This section has all my blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. This next one is all my brushes and my setting sprays. Here, I have all my colorful graphic liners, face powder and eyeshadows. This section is for all my foundation, liquid blush, concealer, and primer. Next, I have my liquid liners, mascaras, lip glosses, lipsticks, and my lip balms at the very top. So that's it for the drawers. Here's what's inside my side cabinet. I lost a few screws during the move, so it's a little flimsy, but it's okay. This first section is kind of boring. I basically just have a bunch of receipts for my taxes. Below that, I have a clear organizer that I picked up from Michaels to organize all of my ear Earrings. I love wearing fun, colorful statement earrings. Here's a little tour of some of my favorite ones, but let me know in the comments below if you want me to do an entire video showing you my whole earring collection. In that same section, I have a bunch of magazines and comics that I've designed ads for in the past, along with some extra fabric. And in the very bottom section, I like to store some PR that I haven't opened yet. Below my desk, I have this fuzzy purple rug from Home Goods, and I keep my Crocs here because they're comfy. Right next to my work desk, I have this lime green storage cabinet that I got off Facebook Marketplace, but it's originally from Ikea. I organized all of my stationery and craft stuff into separate bins from Daiso. The first bin has a lot of random craft stuff like paint, tape, and twine. This Chromie box is from the Sanrio store, and it's just filled with a lot of prints and stickers. Look at this vintage Kurobi sticker sheet. I've had this since I was basically a baby. In these smaller containers, I have a bunch of vintage rubber stamps that I've collected. I love decorating my 
my envelopes with them. And this one has more craft stuff like confetti and small canvases. This next tray has a lot of my paper crafts. I love these little Twin Stars red envelopes. There's some post-its, Ghibli note cards, and lots of decorative paper from Daiso. Under that, I have tech stuff like extra Polaroids, film rolls, and photo shoot clamps. This bottom section is for extra inventory. This container has my no vacancy keychains. I have more of these small storage bins from earlier, some spray paint, and some shipping label rolls. I also have a few more containers in the back for all my extra enamel pins that I can't fit into my storage carts. And that's everything inside my storage cabinet. Let's move on to everything on top of it. This boba fridge is another one of my favorite parts of my art studio. I got it from Urban Outfitters, but the brand is Smoko. Inside, I have some face masks and some Sailor Moon drinks that I probably won't ever drink because I don't like sparkling water and they're just way too cute. This cow mug is my favorite mug. I found it at Home Goods, but you can also find it on Amazon. I also have this flower shaped coaster, which I thrifted a few years ago. I also have this little ashtray that I got from Urban Outfitters that I use as a catch all dish. Right now, it has all my self defense products by Tiny Protector and my Hello Kitty Tamagotchi. Right above that, I have this grid riser that I thrifted and it carries my printer for shipping labels. This cute Uba sticker is by Solacole. I got this floor lamp from Target, but I painted it pink myself. The first shelf has this ice cream catch all dish that I got off Depop, the strawberry planter from Target, and candle holder that I thrifted. Above that, I hung some super Y2K fuzzy dice that I also got from Depop. In the bottom shelf, I have this really cute 90s Betty Boop napkin holder from eBay, this butterfly candle that I thrifted, and a little Bubbles Funko Pop. So let's talk about wall decor. I have some wall hangers that I got from World Market and spray painted myself. I like to hang all my favorite jewelry pieces on them and also some of my favorite bags as well, just so that they're easy to grab on my way out. Most of these pieces are from Hot Topic. I also have a couple of cloud shelves that I bought from Target. This one has my Sunny Angel Babies collection, and the other shelf has some random cute little trinkets for decor. This little cherry dude is a lamp that was also from Urban Outfitters, I think, and the brand is Smoko. This film was absolutely heartbreaking, but I have a Grave of the Fireflies candy tin. Inside, it's actually filled with fruit candies, and they're pretty good. This Powerpuff Girls locker is another nostalgic piece, and it's actually a piggy bank, which I got off of Etsy. I also have this crescent moon shelf from home goods filled with even more trinkets like the ceramic homemade teacup by Melly Lim. At the bottom of this corner, I have this awesome chromey skateboard and nope, I do not know how to skate. On the other side, I have my fluffy Totoro backpack, which I ordered from FYE. It is seriously the cutest backpack ever. And he just sits on this little rainbow stool, which I got from Home Goods. Now we're gonna talk all about my bookshelf. This one is from Ikea, and I've had it for about five or six years now. I have a lot of storage boxes at the top. They're filled with personal memories, so I'm not gonna go through them, but this Taco Bell fire sauce box was a dream PR package. I also have this really cool vintage Spice Girl Polaroid camera that I found on Facebook Marketplace, which I still need to test out. And this Wes Anderson bakery box was from my trip to Korea a few years ago. So as you can see, I color coordinated all of my books. These Tokidoki magnets are from Daiso, and a lot of these books are either thrifted or from half-price books. And this is what I'm currently reading at the moment. Next to my books, I have this cloud humidifier from Amazon, which I mainly use during the winter time. In the second row, I have this huge organizer that I found at TJ Maxx. It's so helpful for organizing organizing my Patreon stickers every month. There's about 20 compartments and it's probably the best business purchase that I've made recently. To the right of that, I have this smiley face face that I thrifted and filled with my pencils. Then I have my entire art book collection. These two books are by Lauren Tsai. This next one is Tender by Chu. I have a couple of Powerpuff Girls comic books that I thrifted. Your Name is one of my favorite anime films, so of course I had to get the art book. This is a photography book by Petra Collins and Alexa Demi. I also thrifted this Bugs Bunny one and these last couple of art books are for Wes Anderson's movies, Isle of Dogs, and Grand Budapest Hotel. The third row features all my beauty and fashion magazines that I've collected over the years. Some of these I've actually had since I was little, and these clear magazine holders are thrifted. This wooden box is from Ross, which I painted pink myself. It's filled with random stuff like the strawberry jar that I thrifted and a bunch of notebooks. In the bottom row of this bookshelf, I have my postal scale, which I use for packages, my iPad, and some colorful paper. These paper trays are thrifted along with this pink magazine holder on the side, which has more of my sticker label paper. On the right side, I have my HP printer, which I mainly use to print addresses. Underneath my bookshelf, I just have my paper cutter, which I use to trim some of my prints. 
Another one of my favorite pieces in my art studio is this gigantic strawberry planter, which you've probably seen in my TikTok. Then on the wall, I have this grid from Daiso filled with all of your sweet letters. Last but not least, the final addition to my art studio is this little music corner. This stand and record player were both gifted to me by Crosley. The strawberry jar is from Home Goods, and here are some of my favorite records. Next to that, I have this cute little Animal Crossing Isabel plush. And at the bottom shelf, I have another small hay crate with this Totoro plush that my sister got me from Japan. I also have this Instax camera and a few disposables. I have a small collection of prints on the wall by artists like Yeonpyeon, Yulia, Satram, Slay Alexin, and myself. This flower light switch is by Crap by Lila on Etsy, and it just makes my space 10 times cuter. But yeah, I just love this little music corner. It makes me so happy, and it's just really therapeutic to have in my art studio. Sometimes I forget to take breaks, but having these things around is a great reminder to slow down. So I reached the end of my art studio tour. Thank you so so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more studio vlogs. Say hi in the comments and I'll see you in my next one. Bye everyone! Like you're still around.